Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. The game about the guy whose voice I can't keep consistent. <laughs> also, Marty has her first official theory about this game that I have about Phoenix Wright, because that's the only <laughs> character currently that I can think about. I I was wondering, because he's like the best um poker player, if he can still like call upon Mia and be like, Mia, I need help. And he's like, she's just like, oh my gosh, Phoenix, just bluff. <laughs> or like do whatever. Or what was the other theory I was talking about? Oh, if he was just completely bluffing about having a kid <laughs> altogether. He's just like, oh, the, the Marty's basically like, he's kid. just bluffing all the time. Anyhow. That's what he did in the first three games. Fair enough. We're also, still he fell off a cliff. Yeah, I feel like the Trials and Tribulations wrapped up Mia pretty well, where she's like, you like did what I couldn't do, Phoenix. Like, you're good enough now, so supposedly but not at poker mia was actually an ex -po poker player <laughs> so that's how she died <laughs> no that's no. not canon anyhow yeah, we're continuing turnabout trump we're still on the day one and we're on old oh, yeah. oh i forgot second it was deferred testimony. i thought it was russian gal russian not prostitute up <laughs> 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 all right last hand both both men had, had full, full house, house. Da. full house da. just how hard is it to make a full house anyway it is quite hard da. It is making pair and three out of kind at the same time. I guess that's right. Very difficult to be sure. You can take my word as the poker head of courtroom number three. Very difficult, da, but not important. Not impossible. Not impossible! It's not important! <laughs> okay, full house. Hard. This line of questioning, a waste of time. There is four of each card in deck from ace to king. Four of each card, you say? Da! There is one spade, one diamond, one heart, and one club for each card. It is interesting fact that this number four comes from the number of seasons. Huh? You don't say. Ah, and did you know that the cards are numbered one through thirteen? Add all the cards in a deck and you get 364. A year. Huh? You don't say. Isn't that one day short? That's why each deck has two jokers! <laughs> Oh, is that why? I never knew that. They say the second Joker stands for the leap year. Please don't talk that loudly as Winston Payne. I'm sorry. It peaks the microphone so like crazy. Hard. Thus, you have a perfect representation of the year, all in a deck of cards. It's just hard to do the voice if it's not loud. Huh, you don't say. We're going to be in this courtroom for a year if it keeps going like this. <laughs> if you look at both men's ch hands, cheat is more obvious. How was it clear? Da, well, the defendant, he played the fifth ace. A f fifth ace? I still remember both hands very well. Mr. Smith's hand had three aces. And Mr. Wright's, too. Obviously, cheating was afoot, or perhaps I should say, a hand! Your Honor, perhaps this can be added to the testimony without Mr. Payne's joke. Very well. The witness will add this detail to her testimony. Please. Mr. Smith's hand had three aces and Mr. Wright's two. It is five aces in all. A fifth ace? Da! It should not exist, no? I still remember both my hands very well. Mr. Smith had three aces. Three maces. Mace winners. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Wright's two. Well, where did this card come from, then? Perhaps we should ask the defendant that very question. Adding cards into a deck is no less serious a taboo than forging evidence in a court of law! <sighs> now, perhaps it's time for you to say something, Justice? You bet! I've no intention of staying quiet! Not me! No, sir! I'd better find some contradicting evidence fast! Next moment, game began argument, da. The defendant's trick was exposed. Do you recall what the men were arguing about? Da, I believe so. The victim, he shouts, You are a cheater! And then the defendant shouts something like, I have objection! Shouting objection, eh? Old habits are hard to break. First he bluffed his way through the courtroom, now he bluffs his way through life! Objection! 
However, Mr. Wright lost the hand! That seems to cast a shadow of doubt on Mr. Smith! Humiliation from losing even when cheating. That is what set fire to Defendant's heart. So what did the flaming Defendant do next? He took bottle in hand. Poor Mr. Smith. By bottle, are you referring to this? Duh! Duh! The Defendant used the bottle to... <laughs> I don't know how to sob. Just like... <laughs> the, this behavior is an admission of cheating by the defendant. Hmm. But why use a grape juice bottle? You'd be surprised at what can be used as a weapon. This juice is recommended drink of Borscht Bull Club, duh. I got it right! <laughs> this, it's not that hard to say. <laughs> this, if this year's vintage is remarkable for its hefty flavor. That's like someone from Russia being like, I pronounced hamburger! <laughs> I mean, good for you. <laughs> You're learning I mean, English. that is true. Good for you, yeah. <laughs> hefty enough to brain a grown man, apparently. First she says it was a serious competition. Now she says there was cheating. Justice, notice anything odd? Her testimony keeps changing. Now she says the defendant cheated. Actually, yes, I had noticed that. Let's get the truth. Let's get the truth about this cheating first, shall we? Oh no! Right, leave it to me. We stopped midway through this, so now I'm gonna like definitely oh. not get this right. Oh, we can't present portraits anymore. Can we look at the portraits? Because I wanted to see how old she uh, was. We can once we get into a line of dialogue. All right. So just as a reminder, we have the attorney's badge. Uh -huh. We have Smith's autopsy yeah. report. Crime photo one of Let the guy see. like, Duh, I died, but I still look cool Where in my top Where are all hat. of the chips? Um, in front of them. See? Oh, in front yeah. Of the okay, cards, okay. The those are still there. Yep. Deadly, Deadly weapon bottle. bottle yep. Right. Cell phone with tape on the back. Yep. Oldest photo. <laughs> and oh, so we then never looked at I that. went to Canada. Can you believe it? It was beautiful. Uh, so yeah, many Tim yeah, Hortons. I, I guess so. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> that does look like Mr. Wright now that I see him sitting there. Like, that looks more like him oh, really? in the photo. Wait, really? Now it looks more like him in, like, a little his bit. sweatshirt, I think is what gives Is he wearing flip-flops? There's also snow in the restaurant. I think he's restaurant. wearing socks. <laughs> like, striped socks. No, I think those are flip-flops or slippers. But why is he wearing... There's snow in the place! Why is he wearing... How cold is this place? There's snow everywhere. When you play poker, it needs to be... As, like, as cold as possible. Cold yeah. As possible. <laughs> Makes the brain sharp. Uh, this is the photo of their hands. Okay. And then that's him after getting hit. <laughs> I didn't want to die like this. Yep. And then, <laughs> that is uh, not what his voice is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Four fourth. cards, three aces, and Mr. Wright's two. So... We have... Here's the thing about the aces that I want to look at real quick. Can I check this, it? This one? Yes. So... There's a different ace from the other ones. Also, that one says he only has two aces on that side. Indeed. Two and two. So she's just weird. Yeah, Present she's... that. Why you lying? <laughs> you lying, lie face. Oh, now we can look at the court record. Profiles, Profiles, Gavin 32, Phoenix Wright 43. What? Gavin's younger than this dude? He's what? younger than Phoenix Wright. That's so surprising. Also, how did he get up to be a defense attorney and we hadn't even seen him until now? Um, because defense attorneys don't go up against each other. Also, Phoenix no, but, is totally but out of the they loop. Work, maybe they worked with each other back in the day. Like, if maybe Phoenix, they did. If Phoenix Wright was like 25, I mean, they are friends. Been 24. They okay. are friends. So. Oh, yeah, because he knew him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we don't know Should him. Be... 61. Oh, Olga, tw Olga, 21. 21. 21. Yeah, I told you she was 20s. It appears the witness is mistaken. Miss... taken? But my name... Look, this piece of evidence clearly contradicts what you said in your testimony. That's the photo of the chips, is it not? Justice. Perhaps you ought to explain your point in a way that the judge can comprehend. In other words, use your finger to point out your point. Yes, please point out the contradiction in this photo. Well, I mentioned it. What particular point contradicts the witness's testimony? Point at the fact he has three jacks? Yes. What? Why, it's here, of course! It's where? Where is that you're pointing? Where? Um, uh, good question! <laughs> We've already heard today of on the dangers of bluffing. <laughs> uh, sorry, your honor. I better rethink this. <laughs> He's got long hair. I think you'd best point out your point again. Oh, this sweet. <laughs> Thanks. I think you'd best do this correctly. 
Miss Orley, in your testimony, you made the following claim. Mr. Smith's hand has three aces. But as you can clearly see, the victim's hand only held two aces. Eee! Well, well, maybe the witness was simply confused. Perhaps it was the defendant's hand that had the third ace in question. Objection! Take another look at the evidence. As you can see, the defendant also had two aces in his hand. Where's this fifth ace? I see cheating all right, and it's going on right here in this courtroom. Olga's like, I need to go and serve the borscht. <laughs> <laughs> two aces in each player's hand does make four aces total. Hardly proof of cheating. Wait, please. It's true. I have seen it, the fifth ace. There was a cheating, I swear to you. Was she like, doing like, um, Arthur, where it's like in his cheat sleeve. Cheat to lose? <laughs> cheat to lose, where he, like, she pulls oh, yeah. it out of her sleeve, and she's like, you're borscht. <laughs> and then, like, puts it underneath the plate, and he's like, <laughs> This is just turning into uh, Arthur, or Arthur the Loser? No, no, no. Arthur the Sore Loser? Sore Winner? No, Arthur the Loser. Yeah, Arthur, Arthur the Loser. Arthur the Loser, no where, guessing. Where, 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 like, Arthur's, like, basically learns, he's like, Wait, if I cheat, I can always win! <laughs> and it's him, like, pointing all these elaborate, like, oh my gosh. scams. Where he has, like, a string he pulls on his shirt that, like, makes, makes a, like, card come, card come out. out. Not only that, but he sets up mirrors in his clubhouse, and his friends don't, or they're just like, why'd you put the mirrors up? The mirrors always make the room seem bigger. bigger! And he's just, like, looking at the mirrors to see everyone's and cards. It's great. It's great. <laughs> That's odd. She must be lying, yet she's the most sincere I've seen her all day. You're right to trust your instincts. Mr. Gavin? Who knows what lies in store for us in the trial ahead? Your Honor, if I may, I have a suggestion. What might that be, Mr. Gavin? If you don't mind, perhaps we might examine the actual cards? The cards? Mr. Payne? Uh, yes? The, play the player's hands that night were set aside as evidence, were they not? The defense would like to request that the cards be shown to the court. Very well, the prosecution will submit this evidence. Which will you examine? The victim's cards or the defendant's cards? If these cards don't prove cheating was going on, nothing will. Now, which of these hands is more suspicious? The victim's the hand- The victim's hand? It was the victim's hand that changed over the course of the witness's testimony. The defense requests time to examine Mr. Smith's cards. Very well. Mr. Payne, if you would. Very well. Received evidence, victim's hand. Do we, can we get both hands, if we're careful? You don't need Phoenix's hand. Um, like, if you'll examine it, if nothing's there. It's like, well, that was a waste of time. Yeah. Well, time's a-wasting. Get to it, Justice. Y yes, sir! Let's take a look. When examining evidence, be sure to view it from all sides and angles. Try using the dials on the evidence viewer. That should give you a better perspective on the case. Okay, let's do this. There's a different card and it's blue. What? What? Your Honor, look at this! One of the victim's cards! The back is a different color! Yeah. Yeah! That's impossible! But I put that card in Wright's hand. Ah! What was that, Miss Orly? No, yeah, uh, I merely said, uh, da, I have, yeah! Your Honor, M Mr. Gavin, yes? Tell me, what is the easiest way to cheat at poker? To cheat? I'll tell you. One merely needs a friend. A comrade, shall we say. The dealer. Ah! Ah! Wait, so you mean... This witness? Miss Orly? She's the cheater. A professional, I'd wager. Yeah! So Mr. Wright's like, I didn't cheat. <laughs> Order! I have somebody Order! Order! For me, but. Focus, Justice. Time to take advantage of her. I mean, of her mistake! <laughs> Your Honor, please recall the testimony we just heard! Th that's impossible! But I put that card in Wright's hand. Ergo, Miss Olga Orly conspired to cheat, not with my client, but with the victim, Mr. Shady Smith. No! Oh! Not only did she cheat, she cheated poorly! Therefore, it's not hard to imagine an altercation between her and the victim. What? Epic pursuit music now. Wait, you- Oh yeah, it's the music I like! You don't mean... The defense isn't accusing the witness, Miss Olga Orly, are you? Time for justice. There were three people in the room at the time of the incident. And if Mr. Wright isn't guilty, that means... 
I am. The defense accuses the witness, Miss Olga Orly, of murder. Yeah! Did she just faint? Everything landed, Okay, though. you saw a lobster falling, right? Yeah, uh, okay. I saw something red, at least. It looked like a lobster. I'm freeze-framing that. Okay. Mr. Payne, where is your witness, Miss Olga Orly? Uh, it appears she has lost uh, consciousness, Your Honor. Not surprising. They do that. They do do that. Hmm, Mr. Justice? Your Honor, it seems you've presented a new possibility to the court. One suggesting a, connect a connection between the witness and the victim, Mr. Smith. And that means this court cannot pronounce a verdict for the defendant at this time. In what? I did it! I held out! Does this mean we get to investigate I later? see no point in prolonging the trial this day. Oh. The prosecution will need to make further inquiries. Okay. Hey, Phoenix Wright. M Mr. Wright? You can't end the trial here, Your Honor. Not yet. What nonsense is the defendant spewing now? Think. One of the cards had a different colored back. Don't you wonder what it means? What are you doing, Mr. Wright? Raising objections when you're about to get off the hook? Ridiculous! Mr. Payne, you of all people should know. Mr. Wright has a talent for the ridiculous. That's true. He's wearing a blue hat. Perhaps we should get to the bottom of fiends. Let's clear up the facts about the game that fateful night. As was said before, we alternated between two decks of cards that night. That was said before. The two decks at the club have different colored backs. Blue and red. One color per deck. Why use different colored backs? If we use the same color, the two decks might get mixed. Um, you use different colors and they still got mixed up. We used the red deck for the last game. Hmm, I see. But that's odd. I thought he was gonna say we used the blue deck. For some- <laughs> Everyone, Everyone cheated, cheated a lot! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I have the impression that you were using the blue cards. Yeah, me too. I'm sure someone said something about blue cards. Whatever. In the end, one card of the wrong color got into the mix. Which means there was cheating. Yes, a card slipped into the deck seemed to indicate cheating. Yet, this card raises two serious questions. Apollo. Y yes Let's consider the first question, shall we? Okay. Think. In the last game, when was the card swapped? When? There are three broad possibilities here. It could have been swapped before the murder, during the murder, or after the murder. Yeah, if it was after, then it could be, <laughs> like, you know, faked, so it's like, Look, he cheated! <laughs> 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 That's what you'd think about after a murder. <laughs> Wait, I have to he cheated! He cheated! It's like you just killed this guy, but he cheated, cheated hard! hard. <laughs> Justify self-defense. What? <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for the news bulletin, Mr. Wright. Of course, it was swap. Oh. It might be as simple as you think, Mr. Payne. Or it might not be. Yeah. I'd like to hear what Apollo thinks first. When do you think the cards were swapped? When was the card swapped into the deck? Before, or during, or after? I would say during or after. They're not, they're, they're, why would, who would put it How in How could before? it be before? Well, it must have happened before the murder. You mean, during the game? I wonder. Huh? Why? Think. When you're playing poker, which side of the cards face your opponent? Back! The back! Not something the poker head of courtroom number three would be likely to miss. Oh. Sorry, let me think about that some more. It's probably after then, because if it's during, during the murder- it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, During the murder, it's like- You're smacking you're, him on the head and swapping and swap cards with your other hand. <laughs> Multitasking skills. <laughs> well, weren't they swapped during the murder? During the murder? Tell me, exactly when is that? Huh? Well, the very moment of the act, I guess. Would that be the moment the cards were shown? Or perhaps the moment when the cheater was revealed? Or maybe the very moment the bottle came down on Mr. Smith's head? Uh, could I have a moment? <laughs> that moment could cost you this case. Sorry, let me rethink this. When was the card swapped into the deck? Yeah, after. Perhaps it happened after the murder. 
What's that? Ridiculous! What's the point of cheating after the hands have been shown? That's silly! Yes, but tell me! How do you swap cards during the game? I'll take silly over impossible! Take it from me, son! There's a lot of silly in this world, but very little impossible! Oh? Even when the backs of the cards are a different color? If you pulled that during the game, you'd be caught in no time! Ah, oh, quite true. That would mean that the blue card in question was swapped after the hands were shown. After the murder. Okay, this is going past silly and straight on to crazy! I ask again, what is the point of cheating after the game's over? Who would do that? Who indeed? That's one of the mysteries before us. Check and make sure it's recording. It almost certainly is, but good idea. We're good. Th there's another? Yes. A simple yet decisive question must be asked. Who swapped the red card for a blue card? H who? The game and murder is done. The victim is dead. Only two remain in the room. Alive, that is. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and our witness, Olga Orly. Or it could be Mr. Smith right before he dies. He's like, <laughs> I can't let people know I cheated. <laughs> That'd just be terrible. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? Phoenix Wright, Olga Orly, someone else. It'd be dumb if it was somebody else. Here's the thing. I don't know why Phoenix Wright would be like, rat me out, bro. So I feel like it would be Olga. <laughs> Probably. The one who swapped the cards was Mr. Wright. It was you, wasn't it? And why would I do such a thing? Ah! Oh, well, because, uh, uh, maybe you were trying to hide the fact that you cheated? That would make sense, but the swapped card was in the victim's hand. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a nice guy, but I'm not that nice. Come to think of it, he would lack a motive for helping his opponent to win. Okay, so who was it who swapped the red card for a blue? Why, it must have been Olga Orly who swapped the cards. She was trying to cover up evidence of the cheating. That does make some sense. Sorry. But there's a problem with that explanation. Huh? The swapped card was from the wrong deck. Yes, a blue card was stuck into a red hand. Mixing a card from the wrong deck when the backs are different colors? Remember that you're talking about Olga Orly. She was the dealer. Do you really think she would make such a novice mistake? Actually, I have trouble even imagining the judge making that mistake. <laughs> Give it a little more thought, Apollo. R right! Wow, okay. Mr. Wright's so, really nice. Who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? It's somebody else. Stupid. The, the one who swapped the cards wasn't Mr. Wright, of course. And, well, uh, it doesn't seem like it could have been Olga Orly either. W what are you suggesting? That's hardly a logical conclusion, I'll admit. As the defense, I think it only makes sense for you to name Miss Orly at this point. Yes, yes, I know, but but she was the one who dealt the cards, right? I I just can't believe she would make the mistake of swapping the wrong color card. And if the card was swapped during the game, it'd be obvious. <laughs> Something you'd like to share with the court, Mr. Wright? Oh, my apologies, Your Honor. I was just thinking how much fun all this is. Fun? How about confusing? I had no idea what the defense is claiming, Your Honor. If the one who swapped the card wasn't the defendant, and it wasn't Miss Orley, then who was it? Uh, yeah, well, uh, that's, that's the question, isn't it? <laughs> Precisely. Huh? I believe we're about to see this case take a new direction. Okay, here's the thing. I'm wondering why he's wearing the beanie. Like, I know Phoenix <laughs> would be the guy who would wear a beanie, but I'm wondering if, like, he'll suddenly, like, break down, take off the beanie, and he's, like, Bald. shaved his head. Or, or it's got just, prison like... prison tattoos. Or he got rid of his signature spike, and everyone's like, oh my gosh! That's know. possible. It could be. A new direction? We'll find that, indeed, after the murder. Someone swapped one of the cards in the victim's hand. And that someone made two cr critical mistakes. I'm sure you're going to tell us that the first was swapping the wrong co color card. Because the one who did the swap didn't know two colors of cards were being used. The other mistake was the number on the card. Right. The person replaced the fifth ace with a cane. I'm sure whoever swapped it wasn't expecting there to be a fifth ace after all. All they knew was that the game had been won with a full house. So they picked up a cane from the table and swapped it in. But there's one problem! 
According to the case record, this person doesn't exist! True. Not until now. But you have to admit the possibility of a fourth person. Though it's more than a possibility. There was someone else there that night at the scene of the crime. WHAT?! I believe the judge spoke truthfully earlier. You do make trials ridiculous, Mr. Wright. I'm curious if, like, his, like, kid, it was his was daughter, right? His daughter If was his there? daughter was like, if you're going to court today, but you have to wear this hat I made you! <laughs> and then he's like, fine, he's like the proudest dad in the universe wearing this, like, papa pa -pa hat. hat. Yeah. This trial has proceeded on one central assumption. Namely, that at the time of the incident, there were only three people in that room. I believe this new evidence, shall we say, overturns that assumption? The problem is that you chose to conceal this information from the court. I suppose that is a problem, yes. Court is adjourned for a brief recess. Mr. Gavin, I'll see you in my chambers during this recess. What? Certainly, Your Honor. Why? Very well. The trial will resume in 20 minutes. Is the judge gonna fire us for not being good? Yes, clearly. No! That is exactly what's happening. Well, why would he just be like, I'll see you in my chambers, unless if they're like, okay, we have 20 minutes to eat this burrito. <laughs> I think it's that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gavin, we have to go and get, like, the Groupon at Arby's. Okay, Your Honor. Okay, Your Honor, whatever you say. <laughs> I feel like Gavin's classier than Arby's, though. Oh, no. Gavin is definitely um, a Culver's <laughs> Oh, Culver's. Guy. That's classy. Gets the cheese curds, even though I think cheese curds are gross. The cheese curds I've never even had. April 20th, 11.52 yeah. a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby number three. That was quite... Unexpected, Mr. Wright, to suddenly claim that there was another person Look, at the scene he, of the crime. He's the like guy that. who pushes his glasses up. Yeah, of oh my course, God. he's such a character. Okay. I must ask, is it the truth? Well, now I think you would know the answer to that. Ah, being mysterious, are we? Sadly, I've no time for mysteries. I'd only ask that you leave the defending to your defense in the future. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee the outcome. I see you haven't mellowed out one bit, Kristoff. Justice? Y yes sir! The judge has summoned me to his chambers to eat a burrito, so <laughs> carry on about me. <laughs> That's what it should say. <laughs> you did well, Apollo. Um, can I ask you something? Sure. That locket you wear, is that really yours, Mr. Wright? Ah, you're wondering about the victim's disappearing locket. Here, you can take a look at it. That's a picture of my daughter in there. I want to see it. Um, um, can we have that as evidence? I want to look at it again. <laughs> I She looked vaguely like Iris, I think, because she had red hair, but she had, like, the happiness of Pearl. Which makes sense, because Iris and Pearl are half-siblings. Oh, right. Okay. I'm just surprised to hear you had a daughter. Who looks that old? Most people are. Perhaps you'll meet her one of these days. Perhaps she'll murder you with somebody one of these days. <laughs> one more question. The one who cheated that night. Was it you? What do you think? Huh? You know what happened seven years ago. What I did. Um... It's not unreasonable for you to think I might cheat. What did he do? Oh, I never! Honest, but... It is odd that he managed to go undefeated for seven whole years. <sighs> well, Want to know something? There's only one game where you can be dealt bad cards all night and still win. Poker. Eh? You see, poker is all about reading your opponent. In that way, it's a lot like a court case. Okay. Poker is like a trial law? Figure out what your opponent is thinking, and you win. Well, yeah, but that's harder than it sounds. I think not. Try as they might to conceal it, everyone reveals their true thoughts in the end. Their body language can become a valuable source of information. Yeah, it's part of why I could see him doing poker. What did he do seven years ago? Did he, like, run into the courtroom with, like, a chainsaw? And just... <laughs> they're like... It was right. evidence! <laughs> it was evidence! I didn't think it was gonna work! You're kidding! That witness, for instance, Miss Orly. Oh, yeah. Oh, da. She would touch the back of her neck during certain parts of her testimony. Did you notice? Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Come on, who noticed that? I noticed that. Words, habits, twitches. It's all information for the reading. That's the secret to winning, Apollo. Oh, yeah. Someone taught me. And now I pass the secret on to you. 
But, but, I'm not worthy! I mean, there's no way I'll pick up on these signals! No, you can do it. Huh? You just don't know it yet. What's he talking about? But you will, soon. He's like, I'm gonna get murdered ah, soon. Ah, almost forgot. One more thing about this case. You should know I haven't told the truth to anyone yet. What? I knew it! <laughs> I have my reasons, of course. All shall be revealed. His daughter was there, wasn't she? And Apollo, I need you to be there, defending me. I need your power. <laughs> my, um, power? I had no <laughs> idea my cords of steel were that special. <laughs> Power. Power. <laughs> that wasn't what I was doing. Oh. I was doing like the anime, like power up, like. <laughs> <laughs> Considering Artie hasn't seen anime like at all. I have seen bits and pieces of it, and it's all terrible from what okay, I've seen. Okay, it's not all terrible. It's time. You like, you like Avatar? That's not anime. Yeah, but it's the closest thing to anime that you've watched. I don't like all of Avatar. Do you not like all of Avatar? What? No. You don't like the epic animation for like kicking fire nation <laughs> or whatever for it? It's more just like Ain's screams are like, like. Oh, they're okay. great. Not really. The real trial begins now. Do your best. This freaking dude has Hobo Phoenix. Hobo oh, Phoenix has Oh, a great trial. jingle. Oh, okay. That sounds like something you hear in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> You've reached Go. the second floor! <laughs> that's a really <laughs> long jingle. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for this episode of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Ch tune in next time, everybody! Tune in! Tune in next time! That's where the case is going to start to get even more interesting. Yeah. If it wasn't interesting to begin with. It was interesting to begin with. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless. This is probably my favorite first case we've had. It just gets better. It's pretty great. But that's because it's not just like, I don't know what I'm doing or how to be an attorney. <laughs>